going to start with the milk, and all I want you to do is take half of one and put it on your tongue, and just let it melt a little bit. And if you can pull in a little bit of air, just kind of. Now try the dark. And I think you're going to notice something immediately when you put it in your mouth. I heard somebody say it. What do you guys notice when you put it in there? Yeah, it doesn't melt. Some of you may be thinking, okay, that was fun, but what does that have to do with motivation? Ah, this is what I think. I don't know if you all are like me, but I have been eating chocolate all of my life, but I've never really slowed down to taste it. I bet, because you all are volunteers and you're women, you're very successful, you probably multitask. Eating, driving, putting on makeup and texting all at the same time. <laughs> is we don't savor. And it's not just savoring food. I think when we listen to music, a lot of times we're doing something, we're not listening to the singer's voice and identifying the instruments. We're just doing 12 million different things. How about conversations? Have you ever carved out a time of your day, maybe you have lunch with somebody, and then you notice in the middle of the lunch they do something like this? <laughs> Secretly checking their cell phone like you don't see that? <laughs> I think when you're with somebody, savoring is about really being with them. We don't savor enough. So why do I think this is motivational? I think from time to time, you have to build in opportunities to savor.